Recently, I just had a father figure pass away. And me personally, I grew up without a father. I grew up without a mother, too, due to drug addiction. Um, but because of that drug addiction, I also did not grow up with a father. I didn't know what firsthand what a good father or a good man looked like. But recently, I just had the closest thing to a father figure pass away in the last month. And as I reflected on his life, I started to write down some of the things that quantify and qualify the marks of a good man. And I want to share you what I believe are the marks of a good man. And there's several things that I might have missed out. But these are the things that really I saw in this person. Mr. Jimmy is who he is to me, but he is what a good man represents. And through the actions that he showed throughout his life is what I wrote down, the marks of a good man. All right, let's switch. Let's switch you over here. Let's switch you over here, baby boy. Okay. Your first video with daddy. Your first video with daddy. Yeah, good burps. Okay, so the marks of a good man. He builds a positive life for himself so that he can share the blessings with others. He who finds a wife finds a good thing and receives favor from the Lord. Proverbs 18.22 He protects and he provides for his wife in all the ways to provide a happy, fulfilled, and peaceful home together. He is a present father. His positive influence on his kids' lives inspire and prepares them for adulthood. His partner has full trust and respect for him because he has earned it through daily actions. When conflict challenges arise for him, he is supported by his wife and kids willingly to honor all the support he has provided to them. His inspiration touches beyond just his wife and kids, but also touches even his kids' friends. That's where I come in. And even complete strangers he doesn't know. But they know him and get inspiration for a part of their life from what he has shown to be. Powerful. He leads a life that people want to follow, but most importantly, that his wife and kids want to follow and never sever ties from. And lastly, his legacy lives on after he is gone from the people whose lives he's touched. It's hard for most men to check all of those boxes, but you were no average man. And in this reference, I'm talking about Mr. Jimmy, the father figure that he was to me. But this is a broad topic for all men out there and how, what the marks of a good man are. And one thing that I did leave out that I really wanted to put in there was health. Making sure that your son, your daughter, understands what good health is because of the examples that you've set. Man, health is one of the most important things on this earth. For you to live a prosperous, healthy, fulfilling life, you have to have health. Because beyond anything else, if you don't have health, you can't live a, a long life. You can't live a, a happy life. And if you're not doing that, then you're not going to be setting a good example for your kids either. So I would also include that that I forgot to mention in here. And there's several other things that I could also mention for sure. But these are the things that I want to show my son as he grows older. One, two, 10, 15, 20 years old. I want to show him all of these things, the marks of a good man, so that one day he can be a good man. He can grow up to be a good boy. Okay, cool. My job from zero to 18 is for him to develop into a good boy that then develops into a good man. 
And first and foremost, in order to do that, I have to be the example. I have to be the inspiration. So if you like this content about fatherhood, about being a good man, about being good parents, about bettering relationships and bettering marriages, continue to follow us. Subscribe, like our content, find joy in the journey.